right, um, it's time to be petty because I can't let this go. Shelly, 45, and Daris Maxi, 48, from Texas, reveal their marriage was saved by having a poly relationship with a $7,000 artificial intelligence sex doll. The horror. Um, I feel like maybe this was a marriage that didn't need to be saved. I mean, look at the body language here. The husband has his hand on the doll, not his wife. And I have this sinking suspicion that this is one of those relationships where the wife supports the husband. And so that means when the wife goes to work, he is wearing this doll out, okay? I mean, he's going to town, right? They spent $7,000 on a sex doll. Did he get her a $7,000 ring? I doubt it, okay? They bought this bitch a wheelchair. There are people that need a wheelchair and can't get it. And now they have Camilla out in the community and we have to see this crap, right? This is why I think a little shame is okay. Because if they knew shame, they'd be too shamed to bring their sex doll out into the general public, right? I don't know. I mean, I feel sorry for Camilla in this because I feel like she didn't consent to this. No. And then what do they do? If they're trying to program her to do something and they can't figure it out, are they calling tech support to get sexual favors from a doll. I don't know. I, I, I feel like this is just terrible. I mean, look at the outfits here. Camilla is dressed better than them. He's got on this suspenders with these buttons and a bow tie. The wife's got on this vest with the, all these buttons. Do they work at Bennigan's? Is Bennigan still in business? And if not, maybe it's because they're hiring people this creepy to handle food. I don't know, maybe I'm just being petty.